What is up, Broke Man Nation? My name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. Today has been a rough day for all of us Hylion investors. They made an announcement about some warrants. We're going to get to that in just a moment. And the stock has plummeted. So in this video, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what warrants are. If you're confused about it, I'm going to try to clear that up for you. We're going to talk about what options you may have as an investor. What, how can I get my money back? How can I get out of this stock without losing too much money? Or should I just ride out this storm and hope that the Joe Biden EV packages that's coming in the future is going to be enough to bring that share price back up? What can you do? If you watched any of my other videos on Hylion, then you know I went from very bearish on Hylion and very skeptical and suspicious to having a much better outlook on their future because they started putting people in certain places that I actually respected and I felt could could drive the direction of this company in a successful on a successful path. The lack of financial information and in information in general was already making me nervous as I've been watching that share price dropping. It's just been trending downward. And then today, Hylion announced the warrant redemption and then the stock price dropped another 18%. But before we get started on the drop, let's make sure everybody's clear and understands what a warrant actually is and how it works. Basically, a company issues warrants, giving holders of said warrants the right to purchase shares of the company's stock at a specified price at a specified time. That is exactly what happened with Hylion way back in February 2019. When old Tortoise acquisition went public, it offered 22.5 million units at a price of $10 each. Each of those units came with one share of common stock and half of a warrant to purchase the common stock at $11.50. At that time, holders had to wait at least 30 days after the merger was completed and then a five-year window started that would allow them to purchase a common stock for $11.50 per share. But thanks to a few conditions written in the fine print, that five-year window is ending a little early. Today, Hylion announced that holders of public warrants have until December 30th of 2020 to exercise those warrants. This could bring in $144 million to Hylion, and if those holders do not all exercise their warrants, Hylion can redeem them for one cent each. So what exactly does this have to do with the share price of Hylion just plummeting today? Well. When a company starts redeeming warrants and putting, putting it out there like they did today, it tends to scare a lot of investors because typically a lot of companies don't do exactly what Hylion did unless they're really in desperate need of cash. And when a company is in desperate need of cash, that's never a good thing. So it sent a shockwave through all the investors today and a panic sale began. I can't, I really can't hate on investors for getting nervous because that is a big red flag. They just went public last month. Making me drink. As far as the way that I understand how warrants work and when a company may want to exercise them, but again, I'm no financial advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube with green lights in the background. But I am an investor. And as an investor, I don't need to know every time a potential customer calls Hylion to inquire about their products. I don't. But I would like to know a little something that would give me some optimism on the future of this company. I want to know a little more than we currently have, which is pretty much nothing. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I've done some research and I've read some stuff, and but I, maybe I completely missed something, but I have not seen any sales reports since they've gone public anytime lately, all I have I, all I have seen, and we'll talk about it in just a moment, is all the losses and the burning through cash that they're going through. And I understand that as a new company, you got to burn through some cash to grow. You got to spend money on production and ramping that up. You got to spend money on research and development. I get it. But because they're such a new company, there's not really any financial data to analyze and really dig through. So it would behoove Thomas Healy and all of Hylion to give us something to bite on, give us some kind of meat, give us some information, tell us about some potential customers, tell us about some plans. We don't need to know everything, but until we have some finances to start analyzing, we got to have something. Investors get nervous. 
And whenever you leave investors nervous, they start assuming things for the worst and they start making up their own narrative and their own news. That never goes good. When you look at a company like Amazon, they have been hit so many times, but they've always bounced back and done well. As an investor and to a speculative stock, I expect this stock, I expect Hollyon to have some bumps in the road, but I expect them to be forthcoming with some news to make me as the investor feel a little better. But here is what we do know. From September 2019 to September 2020, their loss in operations was 11.8 million in 2020 compared to 8.7 million in 2019. More money lost. They had a net loss of 18.7 million in 2020 compared to a loss of 10 million in 2019. That's almost 9 million more. The net loss per share, basic and diluted, was negative 76 cents in 2020 versus negative 45 cents in 2019. And not that Thomas Healy needs to jump every time a shareholder gets nervous. That's not what I'm saying. But with the current drop in share price, it was already ticking downward because they're not putting out any information. People are getting nervous. And then with the redemption of warrants, he really needs to get out in front of this thing because all other EV stocks right now seem to be pushing up really, really hard. They're having some crazy gains right now while Hylion continues to fall. They should be pushing up with everybody else. Thomas Healy needs to get out in front of this thing and save that share price. Now, what to do as an investor in Hollyon? Well, you have several options. You may not like these options, but they're options nonetheless. One is you can be stubborn as hell, ride this thing straight into the dirt if you want to, or straight to the moon, whichever happens, and just hold strong. Think about whenever Netflix, whenever Netflix dropped all the way to $2 a share, and now look at where they're at. Just imagine if you were one of those investors back then in the day, because they had a, I think at one time it was over a hundred dollar share price, then plummeted to two bucks, a two buck chuck. Think about the guys that were just sitting there scooping it up as fast as they could get it. And where they're at now, they look like geniuses. Would you have the grit right here? Would you have the grit to stay with Hylion and keep buying up shares at, if it dropped tomorrow to $2? What would you do? I don't know what your average cost is into this thing. I don't know how much money you've got. I don't know if you're going to lose everything or not. But if you sold and took the loss, no matter what that loss is, personally, if I was going to take a loss, and I have before, and this is what I've done, we knew that Hylion was going to be a speculative, speculative play. We knew there was a lot of inherent risk by taking on a spec play. So this time, I would take what I, what I had left out of Hylion, and I would put it in something conservative and something much more stable and solidified like an AT&T. I like AT&T because you, you're not going to see a lot of capital gains, but you're not going to see a lot of loss either, and they've got a great, great dividend. Or I would go, my personal favorite, honestly, would probably be AbV because they have a lot more room to grow, so you're going to see a lot of capital gains, and they have a terrific terrific dividend and over time as long as you're patient you're going to earn that loss back in capital gains and dividends but you got to be patient or you can try averaging down buying whenever the, at these dips and keep averaging down and hopefully that share that share price will go back up and then you can sell and get your money back but that means you're going to be putting more and more money into it i've never been a fan of trying to catch a falling knife but i do know people that has done that very thing and come out on the other side very very clean and it, and it worked out well for them it does happen there are times that you can do that even warren buffett has done that before you can even if you have over 100 shares you can start selling call options against Hylion and try to and try to just start bringing down your overall costs and try to start getting some of that money back and i wish i had a magical option that i could just share with you right now to get all of your money back if you're looking at a loss and wanting to get out of this thing but that option is not available it's not there's it's not there that's the market. And you may not like those options I just told you, but that's kind of where we're at right now. But that's all I have. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I hope tomorrow is a better day for Hylion and all our stocks. I hope they all stay green. I hope you stay safe and I hope everyone takes care.